Welcome back to the channel. Recently I picked up a Low Pro Quad Guard BPX3 backpack for hauling all my FPV gear. And one of the things I noticed uh, when packing up my Tyrannus in the backpack, if, uh, if you're not familiar with the backpack, the Tyrannus goes in the bottom and your quads go on top and it's separated by a piece of backpack material. Uh, the thing I noticed was that the quad stuck up really high because of my lanyard balance uh, bar. If you can see here, if I put it sideways, it sticks up, uh, I'd say almost three quarters of an inch to an inch, depending on how, how this is sitting in the backpack, um, making it a lot higher than well, any other point on the radio. And this takes up a lot of space. And it's a lot of wasted space because that, that plate's sitting here and it's uh, it just takes up a lot of space in the bag. And I'm trying to find a lower profile solution to this thing. What I found uh, as a solution for this balance strap here is a product from G-Force. It's their GFA 6002 Stealth Balance for the Tyrannus X9D and I got one in black. It's a nice anodized black. Comes with the little instructions, a little bit of hardware. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to this product. It's uh, made in Canada from G-Force Designs and it's a very, very low profile balance bar. And uh, if you can see, that's the stock one. This one replaces all of that. So it's still the highest point, but it's only just by this little lug right here. Now, this isn't the most uh, user-friendly install, I would say, because to install this, you need to remove this entire lug assembly here, which means we've got to take the trans part, open it up, take out a few boards to get to the lug that holds this piece on. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's start tearing this guy apart. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this thing. Not really sure why I'm starting here, but oh well, got to start somewhere. Got that guy off. Um, take my crossfire module out. And get the battery out of this here. Set all that stuff aside. I get all these screws out. There should be six of them in the back of the radio. Curious about this little guy here. This is the the ES uh, 121 smart screwdriver. It's got a separate review on that. I'll put a link to that in the description too. Two more screws up here. And you've got to loosen up these little rings here. Usually pretty easy to loosen up, just gotta turn them. And carefully pull it back off. And that's right. I uh, I swapped some of these switches around the last time I had it apart because I didn't like the way it was set up. So mine's mine's definitely gonna be a little different than probably yours. Uh, I basically I basically swapped this switch and this switch on both sides uh, because I like the two position and the momentary to be the lowest ones. I 
think it was just this switch I swapped around actually. I like the two position switch up here and I move the three position down to the bottom. split apart. I need to take this stuff out of here to get to that nut right there. I'm thinking we can work a little smarter here. We can probably get it out without taking these pores out just by using a wrench. Almost there. And She's out. There's the nut, just a standard nylock nut. And we'll unthread the rest of this thing. There we go. There's our stud. All right, so the uh, balance bar, the new one, does come with some hardware and some instructions. Uh, yeah, it says use a 7mm hex tool to pull out the old one and they want you to make sure that the screw goes through the hole in the case easily. If not, they want you to enlarge it with a 5 30 seconds or 4mm drill bit. Check that right now. There's the screw. And... Uh, yep, yeah, not... Not so much. Uh, it will thread in, but it does say it need to be enlarged. Um, feeling a little lazy today, so I'm just going to take a reamer and just kind of open her up a little bit. So it is just plastic stuffing. Nothing hard. That should be good enough right there. Let's make sure it threads in all the way. All right. That's that. Now I'm going to take this backboard off. I don't want to mess with it. So pretty easy. Um, be real gentle with these clips. Grab, grab them by each side with your fingernails. Just kind of pull them out, like pull them this way, and the cable should just slide right out. There we go. Put that off to the side. All right, what's next? Make sure you arrange the split washer and flat washer so it should look like that. Uh, yep, no split washer. Good job, guys. So, yeah, they didn't include a split washer. I managed to find a washer out in my box of garbage out in the garage. Alright, so they want screw, split washer, two flat washers, and stick it in the hole. Let's see if I can do this without taking that board out. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing here. Hold this upright and yeah, I don't want to lose all the hardware. I spent a lot of time trying to avoid taking something out, taking that board out. I probably should just take it out in the beginning. All right. There we got it. Uh, by the way, I'm I'm using a uh, a ball end Allen wrench. It's about the only reason reason why I'm able to get in here. 
Uh, if you don't have a ball end, you'll probably have to take this board out. It's only four screws. It's Phillips here, here, and one on each side. Just pop it out that way. So now that I have a little stud sticking out here, I'm gonna thread it onto this and hit with a little bit of Loctite. A little bit of thread locker. Not a lot, just a little. That ought to do it. Alright. So I'll go on there. started. Let's take a look at the alignment. Let's make sure everything fits up really well. Uh, looks like it should be good. Yeah. Right. Good and tight. Fit looks reasonably good. Get a good look at it from the angles. Alright. Go ahead and put this thing back together. I gotta hook up our two ribbon cables here. I'm gonna make sure your your clips are pulled out and slide the cable up into it. Be careful not to pinch it or twist it or bend it. I'm really wishing I wouldn't take any this out. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Probably should have taken them off on the other side. But, oh well, we got it. Just kind of push them in place until they stop and then work that clip back down. And same for the other side. That wasn't too bad. And if it doesn't work, it's probably because you screwed those up. back together. Module back in. Batteria. Battery cover. And then tighten these down a little bit. I just usually use my fingernails to tighten them. They don't need to be super tight. And turn it back on. Welcome to OpenTX. Hey, I got all the switches in the right spot. And let's see if it balances. New discovery, it doesn't fit the newbie drone clasp. It's uh, too wide right here. It does taper down, even though the hole is, I think it's the same size as the original one. Yep, same size, it's just thicker. Uh, I have to find a creative solution for this. A couple seconds on the bench grinder, just kind of make that even profile. There we go, fits just fine. See if it balances. 
uh, it does balance pretty good. Uh, it's a little nose down, which I much rather prefer than nose up. There we go. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Uh, fits really good. <coughs> it's nice and low profile, like that's what I was looking for. Replaces this thing. Too heavy, too big. And it should fit in my backpack way better. That's it. Uh, if you like what I'm doing here, uh, like, subscribe, share, do all the social media things to spread the word. Talk to you next time.